Hey guys, it's uh, it's Sanguine and Luna here. I'm playing the Fall Equestria Public Pre-Alpha by uh, Overmare Studios. It's a heavy work in progress, as you can tell. It says Public Pre-Alpha. Pre-Alphas are usually a heavy work in progress. I played it just a tiny bit off camera. It's interesting. As a fan of Fallout and also as a fan of the Fallout Equestria fanfiction series, uh, I'm excited to finally be able to play this. I've recently gotten a PC, like last Tuesday, recently, and I just saw uh, Brony Fair's Twitter retweet this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy to finally be playing this. That's Doesn't look like it's steel hooves, but I could be wrong. And I'm going to say it's probably part of the side of it. It's not the ground, the bottom side of the picture. Sure. I could be totally wrong. Yeah, without, uh, without further ado. frames per second. I'm playing the game on a beautiful quality. I am actually able to run it on the highest quality. I think they call it Fantastic or something like that. I completely forgot. I just saw the setting like two minutes ago and I can't even remember just how terrible my memory is. But yeah, here we are. Here's the hero of Fallout Equestria, Little Pip with the Pip Bark on her flank. I forgot what the control was to turn the other way. I think it's. No, it's not Q, is it C? Yeah, there we go, it's C. Here's little Pip. Her and her green eyes. I think they're emerald in, this, in the story. Emerald or hazel. It's, it's been a long time since I read it. There's a Pip mark on her, her uh, left forehoof there. Pip Buck here. You got all their magical abilities. You see her head move so the world doesn't entirely stop. Her head's moving her shadow around. Your telekinesis, your shield, your regeneration, your magic missile, and your laser. And let me tell you, I was having fun with the laser. Oh my god, it is so much fun. Oh, it is a lot of fun. So let's, uh, let's start off with the telekinesis here. And forgive my controls on PC, you know, it doesn't have control support to my knowledge, and I am absolutely terrible with mouse and keyboard. So get ready to cringe at my controlling of the game. I absolutely suck. My mouse pad isn't exactly that big either, so you're gonna see me while I'm turning, you're gonna see me stop and turn more is because I'm having to move my mouse because my key uh, my right, because my key pad, right, okay, so my mouse pad is really, really small. As I said, I got my PC on you know last Tuesday, so I don't I haven't exactly got everything for the gaming set up. But yeah, here's telekinesis. We can draw it towards ourselves, push it further away, I think. Was it Q? No. Maybe it was C? Nope. F? Nope. Okay, it's one of these buttons that allows you to rotate it. R? No. 
try Q again? No. Uh, Z, I guess? Yeah, there we go. Z. So Z allows you to rotate it. Yeah, hold Z while you're uh, manipulating the object, you can rotate it. I only took a brief glance at the readme controls. Let's throw that on the ground. This thing is super heavy. Let's see if I... Okay, yeah, so... As you see, the uh, little TE bar down there went up pretty fast. So it looks like the heavier the object you're lifting, the uh, less time you're going to be able to actually hold said object. I'm trying to get it out of this barn. Little shed, I mean. There we go, let's push it over. And I'll drag it out to the bottom, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm sure this thing weighs like an absolute ton. Okay, so we're not getting that out of there. I, I give up. I have a very low patience. It looks like there might be ammo there, but I... Okay, I made that flip shit. Uh, it looks like there's ammo here, but I can't pick it up. Which is okay, because the gun's in the game currently, because it's a quick free up, but they want you to have fun with it, and they have infinite ammo. Let's bring the pit buck back up here, and I'll show you the shield. This is the shield. Very, very cool. Makes it all uh, distorted and whatnot. up and we'll show you uh can't exactly show you regeneration right now because it you know you need to have not have some health to regenerate but that regenerates health and i was using it earlier and it's pretty cool magic magic missile six two and a half damage pretty high strain because you know i mean it's going to be a little overpowered so of course it's going to have a high strain uh, if, I, if I recall correctly, Little Pip was only able to use the magic missile like three times before she was burned out on it. And I think a little, little later on in the story, she was able to, uh, she was able to shoot at least five. I mean, now because this is a video game and you need, you need, you need it, it, because this is a video game and you need to be able to see what you're shooting at. The uh, magic missile is actually visible in the uh, in the story, in the fiction, uh, the Fallout of Question fan fiction. The magic missile was supposed to be invisible, but you know, again, it's a game, so you have to be able to see what you're shooting at. So, there it is. It shoots a magic missile, or was it? I think it was magic bullets. She made magic bullets that were invisible, but I imagine this is about the same thing. Being magic, it does have uh, interaction with the world. No, that was a fail. I think I just got the red roach. Did fuck you, red roach. Take that. Currently, nothing to loot out of it. What's this? Stable security helmet. Let's take that. Let's take that. Uh, baton. Pick that up. Let's put those on. As you can hear, the uh, scuttling of that red roach slowed down because, you know, time does not stop in the pit bug. Got a little bit of net vault, or sorry, not vault, stable security uniform, stable too. If I recall correctly, you came out of the barn from the stable, which is why we started in front of the barn. That would make the most sense. 
Alright, now back in that first shed when I tried picking up that, uh... When I tried picking up that... Uh, whatchamacallit, let's show you the laser upgrade too, I fucking love this thing. When I tried picking up that shell, we picked up a 10mm pistol. And because she's a unicorn, she's capable of holding the pistol with her telekinesis, which is why it has that green glow, where the mouthpiece would usually where you would bite down on. Their sound design sounds pretty great so far for the way you get the quieter it gets. Let's zoom back in here. And they have reload animations, which is awesome. Let's show that from the outside. Not fully modeled yet, but. You know, it's pre alpha, so I'm sure they're working on it. So, let's see. Those looks like they did it. Those look like they would be shotgun shells. Which leads me to believe that somewhere in here there would probably be a typical shotgun that would bother looking around for it. Uh, I'll show you guys the laser upgrade later. Let's grab the telekinesis back. Wow, that quality went to crap real fast. Oh, you know, it's probably because it's being distorted by the security helmet. Let's take that off. Okay, no, it's just quality degraded. Probably due to running. It's, you know, free off. It's not meant... It's not entirely finished yet, so it's not going to be that great, but... Did I? I didn't equip the telekinesis, okay. Actually, I did. Uh, okay then. Oh, okay, so I just, I, can't, I just can't pick this up, okay, so they're, they're not able to pick it up. Yeah, soccer ball. Oh, wrong way. Man, like I said, I suck at controlling the PC. The sound of magic is very loud, I would one of my first feedback is to probably make that quieter. That is very, very loud and ear piercing, uh, ear piercing screeching for anybody wearing headphones. Like I am. This is how I'm talking. I have a uh, Turtle Beach Air Force Stealth Mark 50s, and it is incredibly loud. Shadow Spirit Ball too. You can actually tell it's floating. Oh, okay, okay. That's a little weird. You know, just minor bugs, but even it's an alpha. Oh, good bug. Nice. Yeah, 
definitely a work in progress. Oh, hello, little Macintosh. So, if any of you read the, uh, if, it, if, it, if, it, if any of you read the Fallout Equestria fan fiction, you would know that I believe little Macintosh was her first weapon. I, I can't tell. I remember. Forgive me. It's been like a year and a half since I've read it. I ought to go reread it. But yep, little uh, little Macintosh. Actually, no. I'm not even gonna spoil it. If you guys want to know what little Macintosh is and how little Pip obtains it, you can go read the fan fiction. I don't want to be one to spoil. I, even though I spoiled uh, Stable Two being in the barn, but hey, hey, whatever. I think that till now. Nice. White ivory uh, bit grip. White grip or whatever it's called. This little gold engraving, it does have a scope, and if I take off my telekinesis, I can actually use that scope. And something that's nice that not a lot of games do is they don't actually put you in the full scope. In real life, you would be looking down the scope just like this. It's a nice little touch. It does have quite the zoom on it, too. Wow. It's gotta be like a three times scope. Most pistol scopes are, I think. I don't actually know. I don't own a gun in real life, and I wish I did. Yeah, there. Nope, okay. The jump animation is still delayed. I remember that being a thing back a few months or sometime last year when they'd uh, shown it off at. Ooh, short belt shotgun, nice. I hear some pony running around. Or is that a... I think that might be a protector pony or projector pony. I found some of them earlier, but I couldn't remember what they were called. Got some sweet apple acres. Did that sweet apple acres old cider? Wow, that was harder than it should have been to say. I also can't talk very well. Uh, interesting. Just walking backwards. Yeah, they're protective ponies. Came across them earlier and they were friendly until I killed the uh, bloat sprite they were focusing on and they went ape shit on me. Oh yeah, I probably should have said this in the very beginning, because it's a Fallout style of game. Viewer discretion is advised. It's probably a lot more obvious than it was a minute ago when I first started. Now in theory, because this weapon does... 58 damage. Weapon does 58 damage. In theory, I should be able to kill them in two shots. But being an alpha, there is zero weapon balance in the game. Pre-alpha, sorry, pre-alpha. Being a pre-alpha, there's zero weapon balance in the game. Also, forgive my aiming. I, like I said, I just got my PC like last Tuesday. I don't. I have yet to play any their first-person shooter. This is literally my first first-person shooter I've played. My mouse aiming is not at all accurate. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, two shots. So there's some actual balance in the game. It's just not a whole lot. Alright, now that I've taken damage, I can show you guys the regeneration spell. And up goes my health. It does have some strain to it. Uh, it's not 
overpowered, I was using it in combat to try and heal myself, and it was doing absolutely nothing. If you take damage, your, your regeneration spell is not going to do anything for you. You're better off using a shield spell. Shoot out of the shield. I cannot recall if that was possible in the fiction. It seems to me in the it seems at least to me anyways in real life, but it seemed to me that you, the bullet would ricochet off of the shield and eventually hit you or kill you depending on where it landed. It just seems like something it would do to me. Or something it would do in real life, but it's it's Equestria. Anything can happen. Who's to say that you? Who's to say Little Pip can't make a split-second hole in the shield to shoot out of? That's entirely possible. Okay, something I talked about earlier: the magic missile. Here we go. No, sorry, not the magic missile. The laser upgrade. This is just overpowered. It's it's overpowered. I mean, the strain is very 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 high on it. You are trespassing on private property. But Your death sentence will be carried out in three, two, one. Carried out in three, two, one. The, the uh, sorry, not to mention myself, I keep getting that confused. The, uh... Oh, nice. Like, modeled after the Fallout 4 project, uh, protect, uh, pr pr protectrons. There we go. God, I can't talk. Sorry, goddesses, I can't talk. I'm playing... Okay. I'm an Equestria for Luna's sake. Goddess is not god. So yeah, the uh, the laser upgrade is a bit overpowered. It does 500 damage. So you hold it on an enemy that has 100 HP, like these uh, protective ponies. Within one second, they're dead. Like that, like... Yeah, it's... I don't know, to me it's a little overpowered, but... I don't ever remember, to my knowledge, a little pip using a laser spell. I, 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 I don't... I don't recall that, but, you know, maybe it's just in here for fun. Maybe they're just like, it's a free alpha, let's just give it to them, let's, have them, let's let them have fun with it. It is far better than any weapon you'd ever need. Although the strain is pretty high, so it does require you to use other weapons. So I mean, I, I guess there's that balancing to it. You know, whatever balancing does exist. Okay, while I'm walking, I'm getting like 40 frames, so... Standing still, you get s decent frames. Moving, you get 40, which it's, it's above 30, so it's better than nothing. It could be worse, it could be lower than 30. I've... That's a little, a little lag from Spike there. Oh hey. Get out of here. Stupid. Slow strikes. Where'd that rad rage go? Nice. I love all these little animations that they've done, it's really nice. It is really nice. Shoot one bullet, it only reloads one. Shoot two, it reloads two. That is really nice. And if you hit the trigger again while you're empty, it actually reloads for yourself so you don't have to hit the bar. It's really nice for somebody like me who has yowie hands as uh, Mike the Microphone would call him. As he would call him, I have yowie hands, which means I have... My hands are massive and I can't really do the keyboard very well. Let me tell you, playing, uh, how to find a first person shooter, I'm actually getting the hang of it. I'm actually getting the hang of it. 
it's just like also, you know, having first time having a PC and I don't know, like four years. Which I should also add, I've never ever played a game ever on a PC, so that doesn't really help. I'm getting the hang of it. I am getting the hang of it. Okay, so we got uh, another mini shed up here. That is a big shotgun. I want that. Give me that. It looks like that would be ammo for the big shotgun. <laughs> Turpentine. Let's, let's equip that. Hunting shotgun. Now that. That is a shotgun. Got a. What is it? Griffin? Yeah, it looks like it has a griffin on it. That is really nice. Very low rate of fire. Which, considering she's having to control two points on it, two points of the shotgun with her magic. Actually, three points if you think about it, because you also have the uh, you also have the trigger you have to pull. So you can see this is not meant for a Pegasus or a. Uh, or Earth Pony. This is definitely a unicorn shotgun or unicorn's weapon. And from what I understand, it is very difficult to split your magic between points. So the fact she's having to split her magic between A, the stock, B, the trigger, and C, uh, the pump. Uh, is, I, I don't know the I don't know the technical term for it. I think it's just a pump. I'm just gonna call it the pump. Uh, the pump slide for the shotgun. It's understandable it has a low rate of fire. If I was the unicorn and I was having to split my magic three ways, I would also be firing the same very fast. Oh, nice. And they have the reload action from empty, like it would be in real life. You'd have to load the shell in the chamber first and then load the rest. And while there's a shell in it, you can... Yeah, awesome. So they got that attention to detail. That's really nice. Okay, so we've reached the end of the 40 acres this way. Not entirely sure what this is. I don't remember reading this in the fiction. Plus, the, about the only time they ever were sweet apple acres. They didn't really explain much of it, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. I would like to believe it's air vents and air ducts for the stable to get their air, but I honestly have zero idea. All the protect, all the protective ponies are back there. Again. So it's funny, before I was recording this and I was playing it, I was doing terribly, I was dying, like... Oh, end of the map, okay. Uh, sorry, ADHD. I was dying quite often, I would play around for like a minute or two, come across like a raider or a protective pony, and then die. I'm actually doing really well, and it's probably due to the fact that I realized the uh, laser upgrade is massively overpowered. <laughs> It's probably helping my survivability. Oh, I wonder if they have Spitfire Thunder in this demo. Oh my god, that would be amazing. I love Spitfire Thunder in the fiction. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Spitfire Thunder was a 50 caliber sniper rifle. And every time... Uh, I think it was enchanted, so every time you shot... It would make the, uh, it sound a crack of thunder, and that is just incredible. I wanted to have something like that in, uh, 
something like Fallout, but you know, again, I just got my PC recently, so the only Fallout game, the only way I could ever play Fallout was on the uh, 360 on Xbox. I wouldn't say fanboy, but Halo is on Xbox, Force is on Xbox, and uh, all my friends were on Xbox. Yeah, that's. Oh, good lord, please die. Yeah, Raiders aren't exactly smart. You don't. You don't charge a pony with a freaking hunting shotgun that also has. Hello. I couldn't... It sounded like Little Pip said that, and I couldn't tell if it was, uh... Wow. Yes, that's one thing that definitely needs to be fixed. Over the course of long playtime, your Pip Boy screen just deteriorates. I think that's regeneration? I, I can't even read it. No, that was a magic missile. Okay. The regeneration's below that. There we go. So that is definitely something that needs to be addressed. The quality and the resolution, I would say, of the Pip Boy screen, or sorry, Pip Buck, Pip Buck, Pip Buck, Pip Buck, Sanguine Luna, Luna, it is Pip Buck. Oh. This is the first time I've ever gotten to play Fallout Equestria's uh, stuff. So. Plus, I haven't read the fiction in so long, I forget it's Pip Buck, not Pip Boy. Pip Boy is owned and trademarked by Bethesda. I'm so sorry. I've got to get used to saying Pip Buck. Yeah, that's a, that's a issue that I think needs to be fixed is the resolution on the uh, Pip Buck over the course of gameplay needs to be addressed because it, it just deteriorates so fast. And it gets to a point where it's you can't even tell what you're like looking at anymore. But, you know, I mean, again, it's a pre-alpha, so I'm sure they already know about this and about Dick Shotgun. It's, I would really love to see Spitfire Thunder, and I would really love it to have that feet, uh, that enchantment that I had, where it, every time it shot, it was like the crack of thunder. Really nice ragdoll effects. I like the ragdoll effects. Very loose, very uh, bouncy. Let's roam around some horns. Get the laser upgrade back. Where's that right here? Nope, that's a security baton. Okay, uh, is it... There it is, I can see the 500 just barely. There we go. Uh, I need something a little more long range, so let's get the 10 millimeter pit buck. Er oh, this is gonna be a long recording. The 10 millimeter pistol back. There we go, it's not a pit buck, Luna, it's a pistol. Burn, bloat sprite, bro bloat sprite, oh good lord. What? Who that? Who said that? I don't see any raiders, and to my knowledge, bloat sprites don't talk. Okay, that's a little scary. I'm hearing voices, but I don't see raiders. Burn! Burn! Blood sprays! Burn! One of the raiders sounds like Pinkie Pie, and it's a little freaky. It's 
freaking me out. I don't like that one of the raiders sound like Pinkie Pie. It's, it's way too creepy. Just way, way too creepy. Right, the ADHD, wow, I just jumped in. I just remembered I was talking about that, like, probably, what, 15, 20 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, I remember, uh, last summer, when they were at a con, one of the Bernie conventions, they were saying that, uh, they do realize that jumping is delayed, and they were trying to figure out a way to fix it, and I guess they haven't fixed it yet. Because there is, like, a second and a half between pressing the button and actually jumping. Yeah, look at that. That is just overpowered. I, do, I don't even have to be in range for them to attack me, and I, just, I can just kill them. Uh, let's see. I was reading their blog about this pre-alpha, and they did say that they know that stats is very, very unstable. And that is indeed the case. I tried stats earlier, and it actually crashed the demo. So stats is non-existent. Well, I mean, it's, it's existent, but it does not work. At least for me, it doesn't. I tried it, and it, you know, like I said, it crashed the demo. Burn, Rad Roach. Burn under the wrath of my goddess-like laser. <laughs> Combat night. See if I can even find that. No, let's put that back on. Let's, nope. Nope. There we go. Let's head out here and take a look at that. So, let's see. Yeah, okay, let's see. Keep forgetting that. Not too bad. I'm sure it offers more protection than the security helmet. Maybe. Although the security helmet does have a face plate. Nah, I don't know if it does any more protection or not because I can't see it. Because the pip buck is unreadable. You know what this laser upgrade? I could actually cook rad roach meat. <laughs> I don't ever have to make a fire to grill my food. I can just grill it with a freaking spell. Magic, uh, no, it's not Luna. It is not a magic missile. It is the laser upgrade. I don't know why I keep getting them confused. Probably because, probably because it looks like a laser. Raiders are protected colonies. They are raiders. 
Jesus. And they're gonna die in Mega Pass. Okay, okay. Let's... Let's, uh... This is the shield, I think. Oh god, yeah, I, I'm dead. Okay, yep, I totally forgot. Time does not stop. Okay, well... There you have it. That is the Fall Equestria game, public pre-alpha. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me be failerific and sucky at PC controls. I hope you guys enjoyed my probably goddesses awful commentary. And man, it's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will link the blog post where you can find this uh, pre-alpha down in the description. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys have a good day, a good afternoon, or a good night, wherever you may be when you're watching this. This has been Sanguina Luna. I'll see you guys next time.